The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, good news, bad news. The good news is it's only going to be 118 here today, folks. I'll tell you how hot it is. Sarah has, uh, we have these two patios front and back, and we have these beautiful, elaborate hunting bird, hunting hummingbird feeders. And it's so hot that you have to ice them down. You have to put ice in them so that uh, the birds can, uh, you know, because it gets too hot for them. So there's about 11 of them in the front patio and about a half a dozen in the back patio. And those of you that have been to visit us, you'll know that sometimes they'll just fly into the house and they'll just uh, fly around for a little bit and then go out the other way. But uh, they're really beautiful little birds. She's been a real aficionado of those things for, for quite some. I don't know if you know these or not, but those little puppies, they live to be 11 years old. And uh, they're really uh, they're really quite spectacular. Got some bad news today, folks. So Max Stevens, who was one of the brokers at Conti Commodity, he worked with Ricky the Rocket Barnes, uh, passed away this morning of a heart attack in Los Angeles. And it looks like I'll be going over for the services here in the next couple of days. But uh, Mac was a very, very dear friend. And, well, you see, he's 70. He started when he was 20, so I've known him 50 years. And 20 men gave me the news that uh, he did pass away uh, today. All right, let's move on. I, I posted the chart for the Nikkei, uh, the weekly chart. You can see the large ABCD pattern there. But the important one is that smaller term pattern. It's just a hourly chart. And you'll see that this thing has really got some harmonic stuff that tells us that they, this market should be ready to turn down uh, in Japan. Now, I, I, hey, it's just a thing. It has nothing to do with the Olympics or anything like that. It's just a pattern that we're looking at. Now, since I've, uh, what I've done, this is what I've done. Whew, try to get folks, I'm right in front of the house here. There's a giant Palo Verde tree. And what happened yesterday with the temperature of 118, they've already stopped blooming. They stopped blooming around the 1st of June, but they still have little petals and little tiny flowers in the tree. It got so hot that those little uh, pebble, uh, little uh, podules uh, uh, exploded, and it was almost like fireworks. And it was all over. It was just like snowflakes going all over. Unfortunately, it's my demise, and I had to uh, stay, stand out of the way of it the best I could. But uh, still got a little bit of a problem, but I'm, I'm doing okay. It's just that it's harder to, to nasal congestion and breathing and all that other baloney stuff that you have to go through. Now, talking about open interest, folks, I wanted to show you something. This is really, it's really quite incredible. I want to show you this. This is very, very important. Here, here, hold on one second, boys and girls. Where is it? Where is it? Where it is? Right here it is. This is the this is the open interest that I reported to you folks here yesterday about the S and P 500. This was the open interest. Uh, thank you very much, White Shark. Uh, this is the E mini S and P futures, as you can see here. Uh, the uh, open interest increased by a huge amount of 60,000 contracts, folks, on Friday. I mean, that was that was huge, right? That was huge, right? That was huge, right? Hello, operator. Watch this one. You're not going to believe this one. This is absolutely unbelievable. So give me one second and we'll get her up here because when I saw it, I didn't believe it. I actually had to call the Merck today to make sure that that was a correct figure. And that correct figure is, drum roll please, almost three times the one of yesterday. 164000 in the open interest category for the uh, – for the e-mini S&P. Now people say, well, that's the rollover between the June and the uh, and the June and September. No, 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 no. That's not so. If you take a look at this from the CME, you'll see that the June dropped 548,000 contracts, but the September increased by 713. That's 160,000 contracts that increased, folks. Now we all know. 
when the market breaks up into new high ground, it's really smart money, and that's what's really happening. So we'll see what's going on, and we'll uh, go one thing to the next. Now, I did post that link in there. It's at the CME Education. Just go cmegroup.com, hit Education, and go on to Open Interest, and it'll explain to you about Open Interest, how it's reported, why it's reported, and all that stuff. So I, th I think it's important to pay attention because when you have markets going into new high ground, you want to see that there's new buying coming in. And with this happening in the S&P, that's flat out scary. I I've never seen one that big. I mean, that, that, I mean, they might all be wrong, but right now they're looking like they're pretty right. Now, we have another one that's interesting here. Hold on one second here. And that is in the uh, – uh, darn it, where is it? Oh, dear, don't tell me I've lost that one. Oh, Larry, Larry, all can carry – Give me one second, boys and girls. Did I do wrong here? Yeah, here it is. This is the one I wanted to show you. This is the crude oil. We're in the new high ground in crude oil. And you'll notice here open interest is dropping. You had uh, on the July crude yesterday, they had 35,000 contracts exit on an up market. Well, exiting on an up market means their shorts are exiting, and that means the market is weakening. You'll notice that the increase in the August was only 1,700, totally different than the S&P. So these markets are acting a little differently. Now, I, I know it's hard to understand what open interest is, but you want to watch it when it's at new highs and new lows because that, that's very important. Now, we had another one that's very interesting here to look at, too. If you remember just a day or so ago, Let's get this up here. We were talking about why Dr. Copper was not taking any new patients. This was, as of Monday, folks, we had that beautiful uh, ABCD Gartley right at the 61% retracement there at 460. And you'll notice it hit that, and we broke down sharply. The target on this pattern, if you'll just give me one second here, hold on. I'm coming to the forefront right here. We'll get up here. I did this early this morning, long before it happened. You can check it yourself, defy human nature. But you'll see the ABCD structure on this, okay, measures to 432 per ounce. <laughs> per pound. Well, it might be per ounce someday. Anyway, it's uh, 432. It was the low, right on the low, 432. The exact ticker, 432. We rallied up to 436. Folks, if we go below 432 and copper now, this is going to be a very, very uh, ominous sign. But that should be a very substantial bottom. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, it's interesting. The fact that it can only rally four cents from there, which is not a small amount. It's a thousand bucks, which you know pays for a couple cups of coffee. But uh, you, it, the main thing is, is it should be rallying a whole lot more than that. Now that might be off. They're saying on the news here that uh, copper is dropping because of the inflation uh, uh, story. Oh, come on, this thing topped in May for God's sake. At 492, now it's at 432, and they're still talking about inflation. Give me a break. That's not very smart to do that, I wouldn't think. I mean, that's my my two cents worth. So we'll have to remind ourselves to see it. Now, one of our friends was kind enough to send us a chart of one of the vaccine folks. I'm not sure. It's this is Moderna. I guess it's one of the more popular ones. And yet Marshall's telling us, thank you very much, Marshall. You're right. The 61% retracement on that copper comes in at 425. That means if this ABCD fails, uh, we're looking at 425 down another cent. Can you believe this, folks, with the stock market making new highs on Friday and Monday and last night, Tuesday? Copper dropped $5,000 yesterday. Shut the front door and raise the rent. can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. 
Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to re re reveal a little uh, history. Uh, Max Stevens was related to Nate Cohen, who was one of our dear friends there at Conti. He was a retired colonel, and uh, he was the one that uh, introduced me to uh, uh, Hollywood Park with uh, Ed Horowitz in any way. But uh, when uh, uh, Mac got out of school, he was 20 years old, and he went to work at Conti. And uh, he was working as an assistant to Ricky the Rocket Barnes, uh, who's been, you know, one of the market wizards. And uh, the Rocket decided he wanted to go to uh, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Chicago to trade beans. And he did. And he, he was there for a couple of years and he was not doing very well. And it was in 1983. And uh, he was uh, just about tapped out. He was almost at a negative balance. And back in those days, folks, you know, there was the Mer the uh, the houses determined, you know, your margin requirements and all that stuff. Later on, it was the CFTC after 85, I believe. Anyway, if we, what happened was Rick was in the, in the pit, and he was really just about tapped out. And all he did was he came in, and he started buying beans, and he bid for a million beans. And he had, you know, it was way, way beyond his uh, thing. And that's how he got the name Bid a Million Barns. He just started bidding, and that turned the market. He, his timing was just absolutely perfect. That was the bottom of the market. It was May of 83, and the market exploded to the upside. He went on to make a, a couple billion dollars over the next 30-some years, and his son is uh, also uh, in the business. And anyway, when he left Conti, he gave the big account that he had, which was Goldman's Egg City out in, out in Thousand Oaks. Uh, they had about a million birds, and so Mac had that one account. As his uh, as his account, and it made him well over two hundred thousand dollars a year in commission uh, through those years, of course. But anyway, that's just a few stories that I remember from uh, Max Stevens, a very very nice young man, uh, had two beautiful kids, and uh, 
Anyway, that's the story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, now we have a question. I posted this chart here of Moderna. You'll notice here it's a perfect ABCD, folks. It could not be any more perfect. And I, you know, defy human nature. Go pull this stock up and look at it. I mean, you can see the big ABCD with the white uh, thunderbolt there. Then you can see the smaller ones and the, the three drive to a top pattern with a perfect ABCD where AB equals CD in both price and time going to the exact price. I mean, how often does that happen? Well, more than we might think. Okay, now we have a question about Bitcoin. And unfortunately, today's the day that I don't have a Bitcoin chart. And I thought that I would have one, but I didn't think I would do it. But I can do this from memory, folks. The last price I saw in Bitcoin was 39000 I rely everything about cryptocurrencies and blockchains from my friend uh, John Jameson over in uh, the UK. Now, John is saying to me that he is looking for the uh, cryptocurrencies to get down to the, uh, especially the, the Bitcoins, what we're talking about. We want to see Bitcoin to get to 22,000. Now, this is from a Jim in Florida that's asked this question. Now, 22,000, Jim, what that'll mean is it will be the fifth 80% correction that we've had in Bitcoin since 2012, the fifth one. Uh, I posted those into the room here uh, last week, and I, I kept the file of that somewhere. But it shows every single correction of 80%, and this will be the fifth one if we get to 22000 And to, just remember now, 22000 that's $2,000 more than the thing that they called, uh, you know, the biggest scam ever in uh, tulip bulb mania, which was in 20,000. We went from 20,000 down to 3,100. Okay, from 3,100, we went to 65,000. John's saying that at 22, I'm quoting him now, but uh, 22,000, he thinks it's got a chance to go a lot higher. And I'm not going to say what the number is because I'll probably be uh, taken off the air. They'll think I'm on some... Uh, Whatever, whatever. But anyway, that's what we're looking at here, Jim. Keep an eye on 22,000. That's the one that we're uh, watching closely. Another one is ADA, which is Cardano. Uh, that's trading for about a buck and a half. And if that gets to be about 80 cents, you know, take a look at that. We bought that at six cents uh, back in September of last year. Uh, and it's had a pretty good move. Now, I wanted to uh, spend just a second here about the grain markets, folks, because they are just absolutely – it's a disaster going on over there se several days in a row. I'll bring this up. This is the uh, July corn for today. This is the uh, old crop corn. And you'll notice here that the low today, and I haven't looked, was uh, 646. That was a 61% retracement. It's four days down. I thought that might hold it. Uh, and uh, so I bought a, I bought a little bit, and I, I risk a penny on it because I don't have to risk very much at all. The reason why I haven't made a recommendation for anybody to do any buying on this is because of this chart right here, and this is the nearby July soybeans. Because if you look at this large A, B, C, D pattern in soybeans, this is up through yesterday, and they've, they've rallied a little bit today. They haven't made new lows as of yet, but they still might. We're still looking at 14.45 a bushel. That's about 20, 20 or 30 cents from where we are right now. Now, if we get there, then I'll have to look at it because then I'll have a perfect A, B, C, D. So that's the main thing. Uh, Bo is asking, I showed the AI at the beginning of the E rally. The, the plant, no, all I'm doing, all I did to show you that, folks, was what uh, all I wanted you to do. To, 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 to de <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I had to take some I had to take some medication today for this doggone thing, and I think it makes me puts me out in not la la land. This is for you, Bo. See, what we're looking for here is the mark at the bottom somewhere around uh, one o'clock. That's about in a half an hour is what we're looking at now. But it's been following really nicely so far. But you know, it might not. You know, it it only works about seventy five percent of the time, and that's uh, the main thing of what we're looking. I wish I'd have kept the one from. Uh, Last night, unfortunately, it didn't uh, didn't pan out the way that uh, I mean it worked perfectly, but I but I didn't save it, so that's the main thing. Now let's get back to the lumber. Uh, we had a question about that earlier this morning. We don't trade this, but what we want to do is we want to watch the pattern because we're now uh, below 900, believe I believe it or not, and we're getting close to that uh, 825 level. That would be a double A B C D down there at 825. So if you're getting ready to build the house, this is when you want to get all your lumber lined up. So those are a few things that we want to uh, keep in mind. Now we need to talk about you know what, and here it is. Let's talk about it right here. Here it is. Mr. Appel is down by the well. 
Here is Apple. Uh, we made the double A, B, C, D up there. You notice once we went above 2860, we were looking at 2988, and the, the 50% retracement comes in at 13066. And I believe that was the high today. And you'll notice you have a beautiful A, B, C, D pattern right there. Yesterday's pullback was exactly 61%. And then, boom, up there making another A, B, C, D pattern. A, B equals C, D. That's what we'll see. When we trade these markets, AB equals CD. We will try to have Mr. Shane, the wolf trader .com, uh hopefully tomorrow if he's not too busy, uh, or maybe even Thursday. We'll try to get him on here. I know you guys get tired of listening to what I have to say. Now, just take a quick look here at the seasonality of the soybeans. Remember, folks, this is the 15th of June, and the beans are not poll uh, pollinated until the uh, – the, uh, the the first week in August, so they got a long way to go, you know, before they do that. So we're having a tremendous sell-off, mainly due to China, uh, the weather, and all this other stuff. Uh, so this is not over. We got to find a place to get long, and I'm looking for that right now. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money back guarantee for new subscribers as well as tfnn's tiger den trading room trading software and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, I wanted to 
talk about gold for just a little bit in here. I posted the, uh, the chart here, that four-hour chart showing the important bottom we had yesterday. At 18.45, we rallied $25 an ounce. We've given $20 of that back already today, folks. That tells us this is very suspect as far as being a significant bottom. Uh, that's my two cents worth, but uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, the open interest in gold was dropping yesterday. That means there was nothing more than short covering. The open interest in copper was dropping. But remember now, when open interest drops and prices drop, that's actually the market is actually bringing it has a chance here to rally because uh, the weak holders are, are leaving the market. So uh, the copper has a positive and open interest bias because price is going down. And open interest going down is a strengthening of the market. Now, if prices are going up, okay, and open interest is dropping, that means it's weakening. So, I mean, it's not 100%, but, you know, it's not going to take very long for this thing to catch up with each other if that's what uh, you want to be uh, looking at for sure. Now, yesterday, we had a request from one of our listeners, 24-7 uh, folks, to take a look at the uh, – the, hold on one second here – Okay, Tucker's asking, where do I see the bottom in the gold? Tucker, the number that I'm watching is uh, from memory now, and right now um, it's a little suspect. 1847 is where I'm watching a possible bottom here in the gold market. But frankly, it looks to me like that since the market hit that 707 up there at 1919, that that was a 135 pattern, and we're in a bear market in the gold market. Now, this is the chart of natural gas. You'll notice here that we made a double top going back to October. We matched that high, and look what's happened. We've had an outside day to the downside yesterday. We focused this in a video yesterday, and the reason why we did this is the fact that when a market goes into new high ground and cannot continue higher, in other words, there's no new buying there, that's market feedback that there could be a potential for the market to back off. All that's doing is telling you that it's a potential, and that potential means how much do you have to risk to see if you're right. Now, let's just give you an example yesterday. 337 was the high, the old high. Okay, now you go to 330, you go to 337 and 50 cents. In other words, 50 cents, $50 is all you have to find out whether you're going to be right or wrong on that, because if it goes more than a buck and a half higher, you're most probably wrong. So you're risking a dollar and a half. Well, that, that trade had already made $1,000 today. I mean, that's a 9-to-1 risk-reward ratio, and those are the kind that you're, that you're trying to look at when you're, when you're watching these things. It, they don't always work that way, but that's what you're trying to do with the risk part of it is to keep your, keep your losses as small as you possibly can and let your profits run as long as you can. Easier said than done, boys and girls. Easier said than done. But uh, watch for the opportunity and not risk very much. That's the main thing of what you're doing here is to keep your losses small and keep your profits bigger than that. If you can do it 50-50, in other words, 50% losers, 50% winners, you're going to be fine if you can manage your risk. And that's uh, what the whole game is about is managing your risk. And I hope that's clear enough for everybody, probably clear as mud for some, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Someone's asked a question about the article that I posted here from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. It's basically, folks, just go to CME.com, go to the education part, click on open interest. It'll give you a nice little video of how open interest is calculated, what it means, and when you see these different things happening, you know, what, what the actual formula is to see whether new buying is coming in. But that figure that we have in the S&P, I can never remember one that big, folks. Uh, that's usually, you get something like that at a major bottom where somebody has made a big commitment and uh, comes in, but at a major top like this, that, that to me is uh, extremely rare to have 60,000 on Friday and then 160,000 yesterday. That, <laughs> I, I had to call him this morning just to make sure that the number was correct. And the girl told me uh, that, uh, yeah, several people have called asking it. She said, yes, we double checked it and the, the number, the number was correct. Okay, now I've already talked about the chart of Apple. We've took care of that. Oh, uh, Rich Anderson asked me to clarify this. I'll bring this up about the about the weather because he has his, he has several different services that he uses for weather. 
And if you'll take a look at this one here, this is the one we were looking at yesterday for Sunday night. This is the one that was saying everything was going to be sharply higher, beans, wheat, and corn. And then an hour later, of course, the forecast changed un unexpectedly because of the uh, the big storm coming out of Me uh, Mexico. And uh, so that made the market break, and it is continuing to break. So uh, all I'm doing now is waiting to see if we get to some of these lower prices and I'll be watching to see if we can uh, pick up some of these things. Because this is not over, folks. This is only the 15th of June, and the corn crop is not even made. You know, corn is supposed to be as high as an elephant eye on the 4th of July, and it's a long way to the 4th of July. We've got another couple of weeks, you know, going to uh, to that. Oh, by the way, I'll also be doing Tom O'Brien's show on Friday from 3 to 4 p.m., taking uh, some time to uh, learn from the master himself. Uh, he's kind enough to let me set in for him. And believe me, that's not an easy task to do because he certainly does a great job here bringing everybody at TFNN together. I guess nobody wants to call in today, huh, boys and girls? Okay, well, I'll try to make up something and see what we can find here for you to look at. Just give me a second. Regarding the euro, folks, we're down still at that level. Uh, we haven't quite received the buy on the euro, but we're getting very, very close. Uh, we want to wait on that just a little bit, and I think that's something that uh, we still got time to uh, still got time to do it and that's uh, the main thing to uh, keeping a close eye on it. That's the main thing for sure. I hope that uh, I hope that means something anyway. Regarding the gold folks, the re I, I don't have the chart that I well, you know wait out maybe I do shut the front door. I think I might let's just get this up here. hold on here a second. And there it is. By golly, shut the front door. Here's the chart that I'm looking at in the gold. That number is not 1847. It's 1827. And that, my friends, is a 382 retracement of the March and April double bottoms. So 1827, we're trading at 1855 right now so we're 25 bucks away as you can see we've had this uh, as our potential down in here so we'll we'll watch it closely but that's a 382 retracement and you have an ABCD with a 382 retracement it just doesn't get any more bullish than this uh, Mr. Z said will you continue to focus on Trader Tom's target of June 28th yeah, we're, we're close hey we're only eight days away yeah, we could be, you know, that that was a 72-week cycle, and we have Mr. Hugard himself coming in on the 25th. So that's a week from this Friday. So uh, Tommy Terrific will be on and uh, talking to us about that 72-week cycle that seems to be seems to be in vogue. So that's a. Uh, you know, I, hey, one thing I know for sure, boys and girls, <laughs> I don't know when it's going to happen, but when they turn this market over and start to shake the tree. <laughs> there's not going to be enough baskets to pick up the olives i can tell you that because they're going to i mean i've seen these markets do this day after day after day after day and uh you know it's just uh, truly amazing oh jimmy d tells us that uh that is uh something about the corn is so it's our accent on the music oklahoma i didn't know that i'll be done hey we'll take a break here eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. We have a caller, Gary, from New Buffalo, New York, I guess. How are you, Gary? Hey, we got to get – I'm a Stevie guy, so I'm a Michigan boy. You got to remember. Oh, it's, uh, oh there's, uh, it's New <laughs> New Buffalo, Michigan? Yeah, yeah. It's the better wow, New I Buffalo. Wow, did, I didn't even know. <laughs> where, where is that? North? You know, we were – you probably ran – when you were in Chicago, you probably ran over for playing uh, some fun. We were over – of course, it wasn't as much fun as today. It was pretty uh, run down back in the 80s, but it was around the corner. It's uh, right on Lake Michigan, right on the Indiana-Michigan border, right in, north of Michigan City. South oh, of sure. Harbor. Michigan City. I know Michigan City quite well, yeah. What can I help you with, yeah, buddy? Yeah. So here's the thing. I'm a subscriber because I just love you, man, and uh, thank you for um, following up on one of my inquiries um, because I'm a macro guy, and so I, I don't you know, I don't do it, but I love watching it, and I love listening to you, and I love your updates every morning. Um, what I'm trying to figure out is basically what you're just talking about and what you talked about in a couple of the videos um, was the uh, more of a macro view on the agriculture. And the idea is, is that if I understood you correctly, and I could be all wet, um, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, but <laughs> it, just this little bit of rain um, doesn't really – negate the longer term issues oh. with you know the fact that there's a drought going on in a lot of the country and as you've said many times this drought if it persists is going to affect the world um food issue um and if i had that one right and then i had one question on gold for you too but could you ask kind of am i in the right ballpark of understanding what you're saying yes that's correct i i certainly am yeah I think you're. I'm looking. You know, I think this is just the beginning. I mean, we're we're not even in the middle of the growing season yet, and we're having this big sell-off. I mean, it's panic, and a lot of this is just, uh, you know, people uh, jumping off the wagon that they're on these uh, mutual funds and stuff for commodities, and you know, they all move in the same direction. And of course, when the technical picture changes, they've got to change too, and that pushes prices lower, and they should go to a support area that that we think is going to be there. And what we're looking for is A, B equals C, D. You know, now don't forget we got this uh, June, Mr. Z's reminding us that we have a big uh, revised uh, acreage report on June 30th. So, I, you know, I'm just waiting to see if it gets to an area that thinks it's going to hold. That's what I'm watching for. 
And how does that, uh, if the drought persists and there's a, a there's a uh, reduction in the amount of uh, outcrop out or uh, you know production of the um, uh, harvest, how does that affect the fertilizer stocks longer term and the um, uh, the potash stocks? In the re- sense, do the farmers, because the crop insurance still have the ability to replant, uh, even though they didn't uh, have a a good crop, uh, and would they plant more acreage? Typically, yeah, because yeah, they it would be the it, yes, they would. In the next year, they most probably would because they're going to get the extra cash from that uh, higher prices for one thing, and the, the 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 potash people, you know, they 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 are pretty consistent how much they put out, you know, every year. But this year, because we've had a, a crop that's really getting, you know, banged up a little bit, we don't know. This is why the big unknowns out there, what's going to happen next year. Because if we have two of these back to back, this is going to call famine around the world because, you know, people come to our stores to buy the beans, wheat and corn. And we're going to be really short supply. And this is the this is the wrong time, you know, for the market to have this huge correction, because this is just basically upending the supply demand situation you're, you're getting rid of grain that is going to be very 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 valuable if this is correct there next year so this is why we're looking for a place to buy got it okay and what is your long-term outlook still on gold i mean at one point you were pretty uh, bearish um at a point where it might even go under the 1800 you know lower levels um if it if it hit and do you still see some headwinds uh, of that magnitude in the um, yes. in your in your crystal ball? <laughs> My crystal ball is a tiny bit hazy, <laughs> especially especially when I turn it more than three days. You know, to look at it, sixty minutes and forty minutes, I'm pretty good. But you turn it for three days, it gets a little hazy. But it looks to me because we made that 1919, which was the 78 percent level, it was also a one three five pattern from the 2000 and 90 high so that tells me that i still think we're heading lower i know everybody thinks there's going to be inflation but gold doesn't have a whole lot to do with inflation you know gold went from uh 800 an ounce in 1980 was in a bear market for 21 years when it got down to what 235 or something like that so uh you, you got to trade it technically in my opinion but my bias is to the downside and um that's what I see right now. I think the real key point to look at is that ABCD at 1827. If that doesn't hold, that is going to be telling us that we are going down. You know, we're going to go down big time. So that's the way it looks. Okay, one last question. When is the um, Larry Pesavento autobiography coming out? Because I want an autographed copy, <laughs> and I'll pay big bucks for it. And then I want to, I want to, I want to know when you sell the movie rights. Uh, yeah, well... It's going to be- <laughs> A blockbuster. <laughs> it is. It and is a blockbuster. It. I'm having a lot of trouble right now because Kevin Costner is really bugging me to play the lead, and so is Tom Cruise. And since I look more like uh, Kevin Costner than I do than Tom Cruise, I'm probably going to go with Kevin Costner. But I'm still looking for some walk-on parts for Mr. Z and Tommy and Tommy O'Brien. We have to have them in the movie, too. And I want you to do one thing for me, Gary. Don't change your medication, okay? Because it's really helpful to bring some humor into this room today. (laughs) Okay, brother. I love you, man. Hey, Be well. you bet, pal. <laughs> Keep the faith. Stay on Thanks. the green side of the grass. Live in the dream. You too, okay. brother. Be well. Okay. So that brings a question. Someone's asked me. Yeah, he'll get his 20 bucks, Marshall. you 10-4 on that. Someone asked me a question. Have I ever been in any movies? Yes, I was in two movies. Well, actually, one movie and one TV. But uh, I was in the movie The Firm. I was in the the crowd in front of the Cotton Exchange when they were uh, getting ready to chase uh, Mr. Cruz down. Uh, Jay and I were there. We got a we made twenty five dollars plus we got a free meal. Unfortunately, I didn't make the cutting. I didn't make the cutting floor, so they they cut out my part. Uh, and then the other one, I was in two episodes of the Rockford Files uh, as a as a extra, just sitting there in a restaurant, you know, with twenty men. You know, basically doing nothing in another place where you just got a free rest, a free meal, and uh, you got to be uh, seeing it. But I, that one, that was on. So that's uh, that's pretty much uh, what we're watching here. Uh, you know, folks, I about the actor stuff. When I when I went to work for Drexel, it was by, I think it was my second week. 
Uh, my boss called me in, introduced me to Louis Bernstein, and he said, uh, Lu- you know, he said Louis uh, takes care of actors and stuff and athletes, and he said uh, they want to do some speculating, and so I opened some accounts. Some of these people I never met. You know, I had uh, Richard Boone, Lee Marvin. I never met those guys, but they were they were my customers. You know, I had other customers that I did meet, but many of these people I didn't meet. The few that I did get to know were the ones from Hollywood Park and Santa Anita Racetrack. Those were, and also Dodger Stadium. The reason why Louis Bernstein gave me all the business was his sons wanted to go to Dodger Stadium, and Tommy John was having his surgery. This was in '76, and so I I sent him to uh, Tommy, and Tommy took him down into the clubhouse. And that made my career. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, Terry asked if I knew Sandy Koufax. Well, actually, yes. Uh, he lived in uh, Malibu, uh, Malibu Lake area. His father-in-law was Richard Widmark. He was married to Linda Widmark, and uh, they would go into... Uh, 
Gelson's Market, where we shopped, and I would see them shopping all the time. And I actually spoke to him several times, and he spoke to the children. I saw him at Dodger Stadium a few times later when Tommy was uh, really big because he was still uh, a scout and a promo promo guy for the Dodgers. Extremely, he was incredibly well liked, very very soft spoken. Uh, th- those of you who don't know that he went to University of Cincinnati on a basketball scholarship, but uh, boy, he was uh, he was one heck of a pitcher. Anyway, a nice, really nice, and he's still a nice guy. He's doing really. Well. I think he's 88 now, and he lives up in Connecticut, but he's still with the Dodgers and does the same thing. I posted a chart here of the d- the dollar index, folks. You hear a lot of stuff about the demise of the dollar. Don't worry about the, the demise of the dollar until you get below 88. You get below 88, then we can talk about the d- demise of the dollar. Look back here in 2000. 2011, when a man named Tommy O'Brien coined the phrase King Dollar, and King Dollar went from 73 to 103 over the exceeding six years. So uh, you got to remember what these charts are for. They give you a rough idea of what's going on in the news. But when you hear this stuff about the collapse of the dollar and stuff like that, the collapse is not going to happen until we get below the 88. And play. Where are the people going to put their money? They're going to put it with the euro, the pound. I mean, give me a break. You know, it's who's got the dirtiest shirt in the group. So keep in mind that that's what this is all about. But the dollar is right at a real critical level right now, as is the euro. We talked about that several times. This level of 120 in the euro needs to hold. 120.60 actually needs to hold. And if it can hold that, then we might have a chance for uh, a little bit of a rally. So those are a couple of things that we've got on our plate. Regarding the the price and the gold, the number is 1827. That's a 382 ABCD pattern on the long term chart, and that should be major support. Going below that, and we're only 20 bucks away, be careful. 877 927 6648.